Welcome back for the final time for 2020. As always, I'm Luke Matthews, joined again by Chris Binns. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it for one last time. So I've said this a few times, but this one is definitely up there with them all. This is one of my favorite projects this year, and it's been a long time coming, but it's really, really special because it's not only collaboration with Reebok, it's a collaboration with a third party, which is the iconic Kit Kat clock. I mean, this, this for us, we were big fans of Kit Kat clock. We both got one ourselves at home, and, and we, we just thought it'd be really interesting to see if them guys were interested in, in doing something with us. So we reached out on Instagram, direct messages, of course, and luckily they came back to us and we got the project over the line and it, it, the results are amazing. I mean, we wanted to try and keep with what we've done with Classic by Size for, for the, la the last 12 months and, and, and that project, but then give it a little bit of a twist, if you know what I mean. So we've obviously added in this kind of fur tongue here and then we've got the, the iconic Kit Kat clock uh, branding in the footbed, if you can see that. So I'm, I'm really happy with how these have come out. Yeah, so there's, as you know by the Kit Kat Clock brand, there's lots of personality in there and you can instantly see all the DNA coming through the product. And we want to translate that back to this product. So you see the two E's of Ebot replaced by the two I's, which are probably the most, apart from the tail, the most iconic back feature of the clock. And also the playful nature, like Ben said, the fur on the tongue, the French terry sock lining, and obviously then the embroidered cat on the heel and the tongue. So really, really impressed with how these have come to life and also how they sort of fit within what we've done with Ebot this year yeah. as well. For the last 50 years, every three minutes, somebody has bought a Kit Kat clock somewhere in the world. That's mental, isn't it? It is mental when you can, when you think about it. Which leads to our next thing. So, we couldn't do the shoe without doing the clock, could we? This is the first time we've seen it, so this is my favorite bit, watching him do these things. <laughs> it's not the scissors, but it's... Oh, well, are you ready? Yeah, go on then. Look at that. So, for the first time ever, you've seen the, the size official Kit Kat clock. Now there is a tail as well here, which I'll try and stick in there somehow. So the best thing about this clock, other than it just pure aesthetically, obviously, every single one is unique. They've been hydro dipped into this sort of like orange fur-like material to tie back to the tongue. And it means every single clock will be exclusively unique to you. What's mad is like, and it, 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 this excites me a lot, but because this, this company has been around since 1932 and now we've got our own version of a size Kit Kat clock, which is mental considering that we started this journey by just literally sending him a, a, a direct message on Instagram and, and we've come out with this amazing product. So we're really, really proud of what we've done here. So are you thinking of having it side by side with your current clock or in a different room? I'll probably put it in a different room, I'll be honest. Uh, I'll, put it in, I'll put it in a different room, definitely. I mean, I'll put it in a trophy room, should we say. <laughs> what have you got a trophy for? I don't know. I'll put it on the library. This time last year, we launched the alternative marathon pack, essentially shining a light on the lesser known marathons from across the world. This year, we've gone one step even further. This pack consists of the mountain, the valley, and the volcano. The original pack came from a travel agent that we know of, based in Wigan called Lupin. They kind of organized tours to alternative places in the world, and that kind of made us think about, when you do a marathon pack, it's always around Boston or London or New York, and we wanted to do something really different and really push the boundaries a little bit on this pack. Places that we're talking about is the Pacaya volcano, which is in Guatemala, Medellin, which everybody knows is in Colombia, and then Kathmandu, which is in Nepal. I've not seen T-Rex for a long time, and for me, I'm super excited to see this iteration. We sort of took the palette from the volcano, but you may have seen an iteration very, very similar to this in the archive. So obviously we've seen the original Boston Super launch quite recently. This is using a similar material to the original in terms of its makeup. And finally, ZX420, another one off the back of our two ZX models that we're really, really happy and proud to work on. To do another ZX model for this year is super exciting. I think when you see this pack as a collective together, it's super, super strong. Really excited to see this come to life. I think for me, the, the fact that the ZX420 has come back is a, is a massive thing. All the shoes are great. For me, this is the one. I'm not sure about you. I think the TRX for me, but I could make a case for any of them. So next up is our first ever collaborative project with Clark's Originals, and it's on the Desert Trek. Oh, this. Again, I say this about every single project we've done this year, but this is genuinely one of the one of the ones that I quote hold closest to my heart. I mean, uh, as a kid growing up, I was a massive fan of, of, of bands like Oasis and the Bourbon, and they always wore clerks, and, and, and so did I, just off the back of that. Do you mean so? This is, means a lot to me. I mean, we had a, there was somebody else who helped us on, on, on this project as well. So Jay, who's on our buying team as well, she kind of con contributed a lot to this project as yeah. well. So we've got to give her a shout out there, but. 
I think the results are amazing and, and it comes back to what we've been doing all year, talking about the colour that's synonymous with size and, and that's orange and black. So um, we're really, really happy with how this has come out. Yes, I mean, we've seen various brands and, and partners work on this show over the last few years and it's obviously taken quite an energetic theme. This one reminds me a little bit of the Supreme ones yeah. from a few years ago in terms of colour blocking. What's really, really nice about this, and it's not this version unfortunately because it's been changed since, is it's actually going to be a bespoke Trek man on the back and he's going to be actually carrying and hiking with the question mark, which is a really, really nice touch to it. I think they're going to look amazing on. Um, they're actually super, super limited, so this is definitely one that you need to get in early on it because there's not many at all. And when Luke says limited, this is a lot more limited than anything else we've done this year. It does look quite aggressive when you hold it in your hands, but honestly, when you get in your feet, it loops, it loops apart, doesn't it? I mean, and it's, it, I'm really excited about it. So this has become a bit of a theme with these episodes and it's signing off with what everyone's been waiting for and we, we know and there's only one left that people well there's, there's maybe two but there's only one left of this year's city series you've not seen yet and it's the johannesburg twin with obviously a um, drum roll for this one because this is the last of the year and this is this is an absolute banger again i would say it, it fits with the rest of the pack i can't think of any other city series that, that, that's been along with this colorway on it and and, and this one that's from the from the get-go is really exciting me the one one of the ones that i've been waiting to kind of come along do you mean first and foremost obviously the, the thought process of this started exactly the same with all of them we start with birmingham we start with cabris in 2010 and then it's how it evolves johannesburg jumped out for us i think it was probably the first city we actually identified yeah. of, of all of them and then it was instantly, we both thought Johannesburg, we just thought of gold. Literally, I don't know why it was just gold. You think of the, the team colours, you think of everything in the round, it, it just instantly jumped out. A real nice touch is the same way we've seen it on Adidas City Series shoes from throughout the decades. It's actually shortened to Joburg on the side. We did sample it with Johannesburg as well, but to be honest, it just didn't look right. It was no. too long and the text was too small and we wanted it to feel and look right. There's been hundreds of examples of cities being spelt Hollywood locally. And for us, this just felt right. It felt like it fitted into literally decades and decades of other shoes previously. So we felt that was the sort of best way of bringing it to life and representing Johannesburg. I think what we've done with the city series is we wanted to make it a truly like global thing and, and, and really go to some epic, huge cities. And like, Joburg like, kind of tops that off, doesn't it? I mean, and we've yeah. done Stuttgart, we've done Havana. Like, Cordoba was a, was a smaller city, but it had a massive history behind it. For me, this is the ultimate crescendo for 2020. I yeah. think once you see this now, and you can finally see all six shoes together, it's amazing. It's incredible to see them. I think there's, there's real diversity in the colors, obviously in the materials as well. It fits together perfect, and it just leads on to that really, really, really special one for next year as well. We're not answering any more questions about it. We're not giving any more clues about it. All we can say is, it will be and I'm going out on a bit here, but I'm going to make sure it is the most premium yeah. City Series shoe there's ever been. It's a world in man, it'll blow people's minds, yeah. I'd say. Now we're at the end of this. Yeah. Top cities from this pack. I'd say Liverpool first, purely because it was the first one that came out. And it was the first one we had a proper, proper launch on it. That morning when we turned up, yeah. we saw, I don't know, 500 people down Bolt Street. That epitomised everything about this community, that people coming together from around the world, and it literally was around the world. That for me is more than the shoe. So I think whatever shoe came first, whatever shoe was that moment for me would have been my number one. Yeah. I think for me it's, it's got to be Liverpool as well. I mean, more so because I've got a bit of history with the city and I kind of had that kind of connection with it anyway. But then, like you said, the, that morning of what I was getting to see it come to life yeah. and it, it was just that it was madness wasn't it and it was it was a real moment and i think you could never top that do you mean i think the rest of the cities obviously we've had to get about how we however we had to get them out but that moment was was the moment wasn't it i think now we've got all six out i'd love to know in the comments your one to six yeah. and i know everyone's different but i like the reasons why as well other than just colors the memories with it the cues and i yeah. know we've not had proper cues this year but we've had moments yeah. haven't we I'd love to know your one to six, so let us know in the comments. Thank you for being part of every single one of these episodes. We really, really appreciate it. And throughout 2020, it's been an absolute pleasure to obviously share these moments with you all. As always, keep an eye on the size social channels for everything else we've got coming through and let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next year.